welcome to another weekly update video of World of Custom Statues. If you are interested in any of the pieces mentioned in the video, just send me a message on the social media platform links in the description below. Also, if you want to see more photos, just check out the description as well. Got one of these Cowboy Logan ready to ship. This is incredibly cheap for a custom statue, so just hit me up if you are interested. I got one of these Doom on Throne available. It is ready to ship soon, so no more waiting time. This Doom will come in three portraits and tons of switch out. We have another statue that is ready to ship and we have this Angel Spawn. If you are into Spawn and looking to have all his different versions or costumes, then this is a must have. It will most likely be a while till we see another quarter scale Angel Spawn. We have this Weapon X that is ready to ship. This is sculpted by no other than Franco Carlissimo. It's very rare actually that I get to feature statues that are sculpted by him since they are very very exclusive. So I got the version 1 and version 2 of this Weapon X. The version 2 has 2 leg option and both versions will have 3 portraits and metal claws. Next, we have this M. Bison on throne, probably the best Street Fighter statue around. He is ready to ship, still has some stocks available, so just hit me up if you are interested. Next, we have this Spawn statue, probably gonna be the grail of all Spawn statues, and there's still a few slots left available. Next, we have a full reveal and open pre-order for the Spawn vs. Cygord diorama. This is a series of Spawn statues from this studio and this is the third one in line. This dial will come with three portrait switchouts and of course, a portrait stand. We have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Hellwalker spawn. This is sculpted by Caleb Nefsen. This guy will not come with any switchout which means it might not have any visible sims. We have the prototype reveal for this Quasar. This guy is part of the Annihilator line from the studio. I'm really excited for this one since uh, I do collect that line. The gap on his hair and head will be fixed on production and will be less visible for sure. I think there's only beta ray build left and the line will be complete. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this Black Panther on throne. It's not only a throne statue but also a diorama as it will come with a very sexy storm. We have the prototype reveal of this museum type storm. Gotta say the prototype looks way better than the renders. Love the details on her costume. They highlighted that pretty well as well as the flow of her hair. Definitely a good alternative to the sideshow one and she even has a different costume on her. We have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Weapon H vs Wendigo. This is gonna be a massive statue for sure as there are two big characters here. Great base as well, very detailed sculpt on Wendigo. We have the prototype reveal for this massive Colossus vs Juggernaut diorama. Actually Kitty Pride is also there. 
This is a sold out piece already and it has been for a while. The prototype definitely blows you away and makes you wanna pre-order it, right? The tattoos on Juggernaut is definitely a nice touch in my opinion, though I'm pretty sure some collectors will not like it, but it's just a switch out. You will still have the armored version. We have a full reveal for the renders of this Weapon X. Comes with a lot of switch out, 4 portraits, 2 bases, 2 torsos, and did I mention it is sculpted by Alejandro Pereira. We have a full reveal for all the versions of this Wolverine on Throne. We have now the OG Blue Yellow, the Brown Wolverine, and the X-Force Wolverine. Two of its portraits is sculpted by Caleb Nefsen and everything else by AVA. We have a full reveal for this Captain America. This is sculpted by Emiliano Calderon and it is very detailed and lots of textures. Even has a Mjolnir switch out. If you're looking for a cap statue, then look no further. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this museum type X23. Gotta say, this looks extremely good, especially the portraits with the long hair. Claws will be made out of real metal and will be uh, plated chrome and her eyes will be glass eyes. So this is going to be a very remarkable statue. The renders of this Strife on Drone has recently been revealed but pre-order isn't open yet, but maybe soon. And wow, this one looks pretty cool with all the gadget and stuff on the throne. This is gonna be one massive statue as you can see, this is order scale. This is also the first Strife statue I think from license or custom, but I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's the only one in quarter scale. We have a full reveal of the prototype of this Galactus hand. This is a base option for the Sideshow Silver Surfer. Gotta say this took that boring ugly statue to a whole new level. I bet people now wants to get that statue just for this. I do hope they add a full board and this will be just perfect. We have the full reveal of this Magneto. Gotta say this is like the ultimate Magneto to own. It comes with tons of switch out. Seven portraits and possibly six arm switch outs. Even has a torso stand for the uh, portraits. If you're looking for a Magneto, then this is it. Next, we have a new variant reveal for this Iron Spider-Man. This time, it's the black version. Looks really cool and fresh to my eyes. Never seen an Iron Spider-Man black version before. So this is really, really cool. Next, we have a prototype reveal for this Doctor Doom and a God Doom variant. This is, of course, sculpted by the great Caleb Nefsen. So the hype on this statue is quite high. I'm selling a pre-order, so just let me know if you are interested. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this Madeline Pryor on Throne. Seems to be a very hot character lately. I think there are three or four Madeline Pryor being made right now. This one is definitely great as it is on a throne. Next, we have a full reveal for this Thanos. This is probably the most comic accurate uh, custom Thanos so far. Comes with two portraits and two set of arms. And you get to choose if you want the classic color uh, version, which is a light blue version of Thanos, or the modern color, which is a, a darker kind of blue. And look at the base, and that's damn amazing. Next is we have some print photos of this dark side. 
This is obviously a museum type statue. Looks pretty good, especially the portraits. I love all the portraits. Gonna be a damn good dark side for sure. And I cannot wait for the prototype on this one. We have the prototype reveal for the She-Hulk. It won't be long till the statue shift, uh, most likely, as this is a very simple statue. And production should be faster than usual. If you're looking for a She-Hulk statue, then look no further. This Venomized Batman is ready to ship. You see what you get. This Venomized Batman does not come with any switch out. Just hit me up if you are interested. We have a full reveal and open pre-order for this classic Black Panther. Comes with his trusty Panther ally. Black Panther also comes with a lot of weapon switch outs and two portraits. Next is we have a prototype reveal for this Harley Quinn. And this is also open for pre-order. I like her cheerleader-like outfit here. She, she definitely looks like a kick-ass college chick here. We have the prototype reveal for this gunslinger spawn. Looks really good. Very vibrant colors. Titinon definitely did a great job. Just currently waiting for more photos of this prototype. And pre-order is open for this one if you are interested. Lastly is we have some teasers. First is for a Savage Land Psylocke. This is actually part of a line uh, from the studio which consists of Savage Land Rogue already and Savage Land Storm. Next is we have a Fire Lord coming. This is a Herald of Galactus and again is part of a Herald of Galactus line. Next is we have a Harley Quinn but not your usual Harley Quinn as you can see by her outfit. And lastly is we have this Ultimate Green Goblin. Again, every information you need will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates. And if you're looking for a different video to watch, you should check out this video right here. This is Carl and see you again next week.